everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Yee, if it's your first time here. Thank you for joining me in my little corner of the internet. And today I have a little, a little purple burgundy kind of look for you. And if you are interested, then just keep watching. It's New Year's Eve right now, and I was very inspired to do this look because I have been doing this purple look for a while, and um, I just wanted to make it more fall appropriate because it usually just kind of stick with like pastel purples and it makes it very springtime appropriate, but I wanted to like challenge myself and make it a little bit more fall appropriate. So I thought I would add a little bit of burgundy and all the stuff, but you don't care about all that. So I'm just gonna start getting into it with my base first. Uh, starting with the Fenty Beauty Primer, nothing new here, same old, same old. Uh, I've explained this 30 times why I use this, so if you have not, then you can watch my previous videos and I explain pretty much why I use this. I love this primer for using with glowy products and I pretty much only stick to glowy products because um, I like looking sweaty all the time. Uh, I don't know if you watched my other, my, my, blah, if you watched my previous video, you know that I picked up my nails and they were done for about two days and then I peeled everything off, so I have plain nails, I'm sorry if that bothers you, but, um, there are bigger problems in life, people, than not having your nails done. So, that's all set and great looking, at least I hope. I'm gonna go in now with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow in the shade 4 medium. It looks like that. No, looks like that. And um, I at first really liked this product, but now I'm not so sure because I have a feeling that it kind of makes my products like not last as long. So I'm just gonna test it out today. I'm not going anywhere, I'm staying home, so it doesn't really matter if my makeup doesn't stay. But it does leave your skin looking so beautifully and beautifully. And it leaves your skin looking very glowy and beautiful. But I'm not sure if it's because it's more, like supposed to not be like used so much. Because I every time I use this, I put it everywhere, like all over my face. And I just don't know if like you're supposed to use it like that, but how I use it. I really liked it. And I still do like it. It's just I'm like not sure if it's making my makeup like not last as long. And if it is, I mean, I guess it's just something you have to prepare for. But I, I really do like the effect of it. I don't know if you can tell how glowy that makes me look. But yeah, now going in with the Maestro Glow. Nourishing Fusion Makeup. I don't think this is available in the United States. Um, I got this on Selfridges because uh, Jamie Page Beauty mentioned it and she mentioned how glowy this is. I don't really know if I like this either. And I paid, uh, well I didn't pay extra for shipping or anything because I have a Selfridges uh, shipping thing for a year. So I paid $30 one time and I can get like EU products for like cheaper. So this is Bondi Bay from Nude Sticks. This is the first time I'm ever using it. And it looks like this. Just a little stick contour, contour bronzer. Just gonna carve out my cheekbones. Mm. Wow, this is really creamy. I don't know if this is gonna like make everything slip and slide because of that Charlotte Tilbury. Hopefully it doesn't. Just buffing that out. Going in with the Hourglass Ambient Edit. Wait, no, Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. It's the pink one for the holidays. I'm just gonna go in with that bronzer color. 
and just kind of set that Bondi Bay just because I feel like everything's very emollient looking right now um, and I don't want it to move too much because I don't want it like I don't know I want it to stay on my face a little longer than 20 minutes you know so I might even have to like powder a little more than usual because that sort of Tilbury really makes you glowy man Now that that's all, I'm gonna do my nose contour with the Fenty Beauty Mocha Matchsticks. I always do this, and I just like using this product. And you guys, like I'm telling you, this product lasts so long. I feel like I've had it for over a year because I got it right when it launched. So I've had this product for a really long time. It just doesn't like run out because it's like cream to powder. Okay, now going in with a highlighter, I'm going to go in with a powder highlighter for once in my life. I'm um, just using the same palette and just powdering, powdering. Going in with like a fluffy little brush and just highlighting. And this one's supposed to have, oh, that's the difference also. Like in the golden one, it has more of like a, um, like statement highlight, I guess. Like more of like a blingy highlight. And this one is like a more subtle one which is I which is what I prefer. Actually I'm gonna powder underneath, underneath my cheekbones first to carve out the cheekbones maybe. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and the little mini version. So cute. Oh, it smells funny. I really like. I really like this set, little setting spray, but I just wish it didn't have alcohol. I feel like really weird about putting alcohol to spray on my face. But that's why I don't like the Catrice one either. Like, yeah, it's like eight dollars, but basically I think it's just like alcohol and water. I don't want to pay $8 for that. So now going in with Tarte Shape Tape, I'm going to put that down as an eye primer. My eyelids are creasing like crazy because I have really creasy eyelids. Going in with the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette, I'm going to go in with this light purple color in Xena and just <laughs> fluff that all over my eyeballs. It's so weird. I was I never really like hopped on the Natasha Denona bandwagon, and then all of a sudden, like I really wanted to try the Safari palette, and then ended up buying like six Natasha Denona palettes, just because like I have a shopper's edition. I'm just gonna blur that out with this color in Peach Puff, mixed with a little bit of Nudist. I'm gonna use the I Love Sadie and Color Pop uh, collaboration, the Ultra Matte Lip. I forget what color this is called. Uh, it's called Mama Sita. I don't know if this is still available, but I feel like they have their collections up forever, so I feel like you could find it. Um, I'm just gonna take that on a little pencil brush and tr try to do a wing with this.
way longer than I'd like to do it. But I just uh, concealed around the edges and cleaned up with some translucent powder to make that line really sharp. Now I'm just gonna add some gloss and ruin everything. <laughs> um, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to do the bottom of my eyes first. Yeah, I should do that. Um, so just going in with a pencil brush. I'm just gonna add some of that purple Zena color. Bottom of my lids. And honestly guys, I would do that again. I would not use liquid eyeliner again. I like how it turned out, but Holy crap, did that take a long time? Uh, or maybe just this specific one is it's really drying. So it was just it was a bitch to try and fix, but I'm just gonna brush some of this off. I've got little hairs there. And I'm gonna blur that edge with that pink and peachy color. Just a little bit. Okay. Whew. All right, all right, all right. This is this is not going to be a complete fail. Going in with the Huda Beauty palette. I'm sorry. I'm going to just use one color out of here. Um, I'm going to use the color Excite. That's that glitter shade. I promise I'll do another look with this. So don't you fret, my friends. I'm gonna probably try to, um, I don't know how to make this stick. So maybe I'll go in with that conceal shade and just go over that. Using this as kind of like my glitter glue and hopefully this works. with that excite color I'm just gonna twirl the brush in there okay can't breathe can't breathe Brushing off just the excess of that glitter. Oh no. It's not coming off. Fucking great. Um, please come off. Please, 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 please come off. Please come off. Oh god. Um, okay, that's off, but it's not coming off my eyelid. Maybe I'll just use a pencil brush and just try to get that off. Okay, that's working. Ah, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God, thank God. This look is not completely ruined. Truly everywhere, this glitter. Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna try to curl my lashes because I'm too scared. I want to ruin all the work I did. Okay, I think that looks really pretty though. I'm um, just gonna go do my eyebrows first because I just need a break from my fucking eye makeup. I'm literally gonna have a heart attack. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And going with the Glossier Boy Brow. Boy Brow. Y'all know the drill. Okay. 
just put some mascara on first. Going in with the NARS Climax mascara because it doesn't really matter at this point if my lashes are up or not. Gonna. I'm gonna go now in with uh, the Milk Makeup Eye Gloss and this might ruin everything. Friends, this is in uh, Light Rail, I believe. Looks like that, it's a little pen. You just squeeze it up. I'm gonna put some on my back of my hand. I love this eye gloss, this is my favorite eye gloss ever. Better than the Fresh Booty, better than any, any of them, I tell you. Okay. So Going with like a flat shader brush just because it's the easiest way to apply eye gloss in my opinion. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this eye. Oh, going in with the Bite Beauty number 042 lip liner. I believe these are on sale right now for $9. Oh. My ears are hurting because these are clip-ons and it's like really hurting me so I'm just wanna I just wanna put this on okay going in with this I love Sara Yin color pop in Mamacita now that lip color is looking really dark in comparison now because I put that glitter on top so I'm thinking about putting a little Glitter on top of that as well. So I'm just gonna grab the Huda Beauty palette again and go in with that color in Excite and just tap some on. I might clean that up with some concealer. Just leftover concealer. If you like this look, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!